We love good food. We couldn't get enough of all the delicious foods from the Yucatan Peninsula. And even after two months here, there were still dishes that we hadn't tried yet. So in today's video, we set out to explore Merida and went out on a hunt to find the best places to try some of the region's most traditional dishes. We do not recommend watching this video if you're hungry. Good morning everyone, today is our last day here in Merida and it's finally time for a food tour video and we are super excited to show it to you because Merida is one of the most famous cities to try a lot of like the regional dishes from the Yucatan Peninsula and coming from the US like we thought we knew something about Mexican food but turns out here in the Yucatan everything has been a surprise and a lot of the dishes that we're gonna try today we have never even heard of and we can't wait to show you, we're already our first stop. We are now in Parque de Santa Ana. This is a, a little park pretty close to the main square in Merida. And there's super cool energy here. There's like six or seven restaurants like lined up and all the guys as you can see just like come and like call you. It's super hectic. Luckily we just plopped down somewhere and they have both of the dishes that we want to try. Huevos mutaleños and papazules. Okay. This is papazule, one of the most famous dishes in the entire Yucatan Peninsula. It's very popular for breakfast, you literally see it on every menu. And we have never heard of it before coming here. And what it is, it's like a soft tortilla with hard boiled eggs inside and on top. And the green sauce that you see here is pumpkin seed sauce, which we've never heard of, like mixed like this. And also it has tomato sauce on top. And I think there's gonna be a lot of like interesting flavors here. I never thought of these things together, honestly. Let's see. It's pretty good. It's very mild. That's a little bit of a kick. So you can really taste like the hard boiled eggs, but it's very low on salt actually. I think I'm gonna put some of the spicy sauce. But it's a very unique blend of ingredients and some somehow it works. Here we have the famous huevos motuleños. I can already tell that I'm going to love this dish. It has the fried plantains on top, which is already my favorite thing, so there's nothing that can go wrong with this. And it has three fried eggs, like very like runny, so perfect for this kind of stuff. And then like a fresh Mexican cheese, queso fresco, and also queso de bola, which is like a Dutch a dumb cheese. And all of it served on top of fried tortillas with this spicy tomato sauce. It looks awesome, some garnishing to make it pretty, very fancy. Oh, the eggs are so runny. This is this is perfect. This is like my kind of breakfast. It's like so savory and rich, so many flavors. You can really taste like the, the Dutch cheese actually, which is good because my family's Dutch, so Dutch pride. I'm not gonna say that was my favorite meal we've had during our trip. However, eating here is definitely an experience. And we love new experiences and trying new foods and flavors, but now it's time for step number two. one of the biggest markets in the city and we don't really have a plan but we're gonna see if we can try some local street foods and fruits. Hello dear. What's the guess? Mame. Mame. What the pasta? So we just bought some mame fruit from the market. 
This is something that I've never in my life had before, so I'm super excited to try it. It looks a lot like, le I was about to say lechosa, which is the Venezuelan word for papaya. It smells a little bit like papaya too. That's like one of the cool things about like visiting a tropical country. There's so many like different fruits. Hmm, it's pretty good. The texture is like very soft. It's almost like like a creamy avocado, or even like a little bit like papaya. And it's sweet, like not too like citrusy at all, but it's nice. I like it. Very sweet. It's easy to eat too. It just comes right out. I don't know. Not so easy. Not so easy. What is this? What is this? It's Brazilian. What's the word for? Make it. You want to try it? Yeah. I'm also pretty sure this wasn't funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know what it is, I'll uh, invent a price. Exactly. Let's see. I have never heard of this or seen this in my life. They look like little peppers. A little habaneros. I hope they're not spicy. <laughs> Sour? <laughs> Very sour. <laughs> oh, and there's a seed. So what does it taste like? It's like the texture of it's like crunchy. Uh huh. Not like extremely flavorful, but just sour. Right now we're headed to our next stop, and it's gonna be something a little bit more familiar. We're having some tacos. And interestingly, a lot of like taco places like shut down at 2:30, especially the most famous ones. So it's like 11:45 now, and we're about to head uptown. We gotta grab a taxi because it's like a 40-minute walk otherwise. In the meantime. I'll keep munching on my grosejas. It's time to get lunch. Solo, solo es habanero. Okay. Habanero, 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 habanero. Okay. okay. Pica poco, pica más, pica más y pica mucho más. Okay. <laughs> We couldn't have a food tour in the Yucatan without having tacos, and these look awesome. These are two of our favorite types, and we've had them almost everywhere. This is cochinita pibil and relleno, relleno negro. And the cochinita is super famous here in the Yucatan. It's just like a slow roasted pork, like roasted underground with different spices. It's the best thing that we've tried here. We are obsessed with it. The cochinita is worth coming to the Yucatan Peninsula for by itself. It's so good. The tortillas feel so different than any other tortillas we've had. They're like thicker and like softer. Well, we are literally seeing how they make them. This is one of my favorite dishes in life. The sauce is delicious. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. <laughs> That's one thing about Mexican food. It's like the sauces in every restaurant. Nothing, like it just elevates the flavors. It blends everything together. Most of them are not like that spicy, it's just perfect amount of spice. This is delicious. It's time to try the relleno negro and we just asked, like this is a mix actually of turkey and pork. We've only had it with chicken and I think actually the most common is turkey. But this is like a blend so it should be awesome. And it's also, they include like hard boiled egg and again you have to get over like the black I guess sauce, but it's super, super delicious. Look at that, just like dripping. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Mm. Apparently, these are on the house. These guys are awesome. That place was incredible. They were so nice. They have a cat named Taquito. You have to check out that place. But they didn't get the memo that we were making a food tour video. So they fed us way too many tacos. So we're going to go home and rest before we continue with the food tour.
we're all fresh and up. We're not that hot anymore. And most importantly, we are hungry again and we're heading to a new restaurant. We're taking an Uber there to try three more foods. Our last food stop of the day is called La Pequeña Susana. I don't know how we ended up here. I just found some place on Google that had great reviews. We're like way on the north side of the city. I don't think many tourists come here, but it's kind of famous, I think, because there's pictures on the wall of like actresses, composers, bullfighters that all have been here. My favorite is a person named Javier Marc. You can check him out. And here we're going to try panuchos, salbutes, and sopa de lima. This is the panucho. This is one of the most famous street foods in the entire Yucatan Peninsula, and we actually haven't even tried it yet. Uh, so on the bottom, there is a fried tortilla, and you saw at the last stop, when they make the handmade tortillas, they kind of puff up. And when they're puffed, they open them up and stuff it with refried beans, and then fry it. And on top of that is roasted turkey, grilled onions, tomatoes, uh, obviously some avocado. It looks really good. A lot going on, but to me this looks delicious. I'm gonna add some hot sauce. Of course. Of course. I also have no idea how to eat this. I'm just gonna try to shove it in my mouth. <laughs> Actually, that's not gonna work either. It's heavy, right? It's heavy. <laughs> it has a lot of good textures with the cucumber, the crunchy cucumber, the crunchy tortilla, the smoky turkey. I like this. I don't know if you can see it now with like the refried beans inside the tortilla. This is good stuff. It's a lot going on, but I'm a fan of the panucho. I'm gonna keep eating. Let's try it like this. They just brought our next dish. It's a soup called sopa de lima. It's a turkey soup with a lime broth and it comes with fresh tortillas. And when we first researched this, I wasn't too excited about it because I don't like soggy fruits and usually the tortillas, they come inside the soup. But in here, they kind of like know my heart. And we didn't ask for this, by the way. He just like brought it and the tortillas are on the side. So we get to, they're just like freshly fried. I can see it. It's so good. I think I, I want to put like some of the like spicy sauce a little bit just to see if it gives it like a little kick, but it's like sour. You can really taste the lime. Like it's a different kind of broth. It doesn't taste like turkey or chicken or like meat. It just tastes, tastes like, like lime. This is delicious. I like our style of taking the tortilla and dipping it in the sopa, but I think we're doing it the wrong way. I'm pretty sure the standard way is just to grab a bunch and toss them in there, and mix it around. That is an easier way to mix it. We were doing it wrong for sure. This is one of my favorite things that we've had so far today. This is delicious. Sopa Lima, we love you. Wow. <laughs> Wow. It's impressive. It's puppy. Yeah. Look at this. This is called a salbut. Salbutes, how you. Salbutes in plural, salbut singular. And it's like a puffy tortilla, deep fried, of course, with more shredded turkey, onions. I see some jicama and avocado on top. We ordered turkey again. You will see a lot of turkey in the Yucatan Peninsula because this is like the traditional Mayan protein. They didn't have pork here until the Spanish brought it. So that's why you see turkey in a lot of menus and a lot of the dishes, like the original version, is with turkey, even though you can order it with other proteins. But we recommend that you try the turkey here because even though they were not big turkey fans, turkey, the food, <laughs> we are fans of Turkey, the country. It is very, very delicious here in the Yucatan. How do you, how do you read all this stuff? I think you read it like a taco, maybe. It's very hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna break it. Let's see, I'm gonna just gonna bite it. I can't believe we waited two months to try a panucho and a salut. I feel like an idiot. That 
that was definitely a grand finale for the food that we had today. This was super delicious. Everything, the panuchos, sabutes, sopa de lima, everything was incredible. Definitely come to La Pequeña Susana if you're in Merida. It's like 15 minute cab ride from the center and then definitely worth it. We're gonna order one more thing, flan, which is my favorite dessert. And then we're gonna head to our next stop. I don't think it's gonna be like my mom's flan, just to be clear. She but makes sure it'll a be fantastic good. quesillo. Gracias. You have the... the In honor. honor. This looks delicious. It's very good fun. Everyone wants to know. Is it better than my mom's? It's not better. And I'm not just saying that. It really is not better. Let's see if you were telling the truth. It's really good flan. No, you're right. Mom, your flan is better. It's time to wrap up this food video. We are also saying goodbye to Merida tonight and we found a really awesome place that we want to show you. We're ending the video in the best way we know. That is it for today. We couldn't close the video at the bar because they have really loud music, but we are almost home now. We hope you enjoyed the video. It was really fun to try all these amazing foods and new flavors and Merida is awesome. We hope if you come here you get to try the places that we went to. And for now, tomorrow we are getting ready to go to a city called, well it's more like a town called Valladolid and it's a lot smaller. And we're really looking forward to being somewhere smaller and we cannot wait to show it to you. So please don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! It's a chihuahua.